Hey guys, it's Coach Mike, owner of Empowered Sports and Fitness, and we are back again for another movement game of the day. And the name of our game today is called Scones. I'm going to be doing some soccer, and I'm going to be utilizing the cones that you see behind me. Now, it may be difficult to see, but I have six cones, and the cones are marked one through six. And on a separate piece of paper, what I've done is I have created games for each of the cones. And I, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to run through each of the games so you know exactly what to do and how to play this at home. So for cone one, we're going to do a run, a kick into the soccer net, and then follow that up with some jumping jacks. So I'm standing all the way over here by cone one. I'm going to run to the soccer net, kick the ball into the soccer net, and now I'm going to perform my jumping jack. There are two ways that I like to teach the jumping jack. The first way is the open and close method. So you jump open, hands and legs open, hands and legs closed. Or there are two letters from the alphabet that I like for kids to learn, and that is big X and little I. So that's what you would do for cone number one. For cone number two, we are going to jump to the soccer net. We're going to kick the ball into the net, and then we're going to perform a split jump. So coming over here to cone number two, I, whoops, I'm going to jump to the soccer net, kick the ball in, jump back to cone two, and now I'm ready to perform my split jump. So there's two ways to do the split jump, all right? Here's the first way. You're gonna jump and you're gonna land one foot forward and one foot back, and then you jump again, switching the other foot forward and the other foot back. But if our athlete has difficulty with jumping, you can modify that by stepping one foot forward and one foot back, and then stepping the other foot forward and other foot back. That was cone two. Now, moving to cone number three. We're going to side shuffle to the soccer net, kick the ball in, and then we're going to do some slams with our back. So I'm going to side shuffle down to the soccer net, going to kick my ball into the net, side shuffle back, and now I'm going to perform some slams with my sandbag. If you don't have a sandbag handy, you could use a stuffed animal or a pillow. So you want to make sure that the athlete is holding that bag or object way above their head, and as they go to slam it, make sure that they bend their knees. And you can do five slams, six slams, ten slams, as many slams as you would like. Okay. Moving on to cone number four. We're going to change things up a little bit. So from cone four, we're going to run to the net and run back to the cone. We're going to do an overhead throw this time instead of a kick. And then we're going to follow that up with a half a jack. So going over to cone number four, we're going to run down to the soccer net. We're going to run back to the cone. And we're going to do an overhead throw into the net. And now we're going to follow that up with a half a jack. So for a half a jack, you're going to place your hands on your hips. And then you jump your feet out and you jump your feet in. Again, if our athlete has difficulty jumping, you can step one foot out and back in. And then step the other foot out and back in. Okay. Now for cone... Number five, we're going to take big, giant steps to the soccer net, back to the cone. We're going to do our overhead throw, and then we're going to follow up with some running in place. So I'm at cone number five, and I'm going to take big, giant steps to the soccer net, and big, giant steps back to my cone, 
Finish it off with an overhead throw, and then I'm gonna run in place. Running in place, just like this. And you can have your athlete run for 10 seconds, 15 seconds, however long you want for them to run in place. And the sixth and final cone, we're gonna do some fast, tiny steps to the net and back to the cone, into our overhead throw, and then we're gonna do some jumping side to side. So it looks like this, fast, fast, quick, tiny steps, fast, 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 and all the way back, fast, 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 and then we're gonna go into our overhead throw, ball behind that head, big overhead throw, and we're gonna do some jumping side to side. So we're gonna jump to the right and jump to the left. If our athlete has difficulty with jumping, you can modify by stepping to the right, stepping to the left. So that was scones. I hope you guys enjoyed. You can get the whole family involved with this game. As you can tell, I'm a little out of breath because it definitely gets the heart rate going. I'm sweating here a little bit. It's a fantastic workout for at home or if you have ability to go outside, enjoy the weather. So remember, keep moving, have fun, and stay tuned for more videos.